hope everybody's doing well tonight. I thank you all for coming to uh, our kind of semi-annual, or whenever we get around to it, uh, welcoming the new doctors and, and um, uh, get a chance to, for them to meet the community and meet uh, folks here. This is pretty exciting. When I came here, hard to believe, nine and a half years ago, somebody told me, they said, you know, good luck, you cannot recruit doctors to Dublin. Um, uh, they just don't want to come. And they had recruited, I think, one doctor in the past uh, maybe four or five years. And, and I said, well, I don't understand that. I said, my wife and I wanted to live here. You know, we, we chose to come to Dublin. You know, we have that little tag, I chose Fairview. We chose Dublin. And, and over the years, we've felt that Dublin chose us as well. And, and I said, you know, other people, including doctors, probably like living in a smaller community as well, and in a community where family is important and community is important and, and everything that kind of characterizes Dublin. So, almost 60 doctors later, I'm convinced that you can, can recruit doctors to Dublin. Um, and, and Dublin recruits doctors. Uh, I, I always say I recruited one doctor. I, I recruited Kirk Colby. Um, in 2009 and and he helped recruit Heath Richter and then you know over the years really the doctors in the community um, are responsible for you know many of the others one of my hardest recruits was Andy Bozeman when um, somebody couldn't figure out how we were able to recruit a pediatric surgeon to town and I talked about leadership and my you know personality and how I was able to attract them and then they found out that Andy Andy and Christy are from here so so when I said I said well if I just don't screw this up I'm pretty sure the Bozemans will be moving here and that's pretty much true if I kind of don't mess things up um, we got a good chance of, of bringing doctors here and uh, one of the doctors you meet tonight I kept trying to recruit and recruit her I was trying to encourage her. this a great place and one of our doctors introduced me to her and Finally, when she met the person who's now her partner, everything kind of fell into place. And I realized there again, I just would have stayed out of the way. Um, but again, this community has recruited these doctors here. And, and it, it's exciting uh, to, you know, once again, be able to introduce um, some of our new doctors. So uh, I'll do that tonight. <clears throat> I'm just going to point somebody out tonight. He was not here. <coughs> When, when he was first a new doctor. He's no longer a new doctor. Um, he's been here a while. Uh, George Harrison uh, and his lovely wife Kay over here. But George is the, um, came here as, uh, as, a, as a, a hospitalist. He's now the director of a hospitalist program. And uh, uh, sometime next year, whenever uh, uh, we kind of work out all the detail, he's going to become our new chief medical officer. George is a terrific individual, terrific doctor. The only negative about George coming here, the people in Cochrane don't really like me anymore, and I don't go through Cochrane without an armed guard because they think we stole him, uh, and, and they lost a really good doctor in Cochrane, but uh, uh, to our credit. But I just wanted to introduce George and, and Kay. K Kay is the one next to Dr. Greggs Jackson is in the middle there, so... Um, but anyway, George, so glad you're with us. And George introduced me to the one in between, him and Kay, and that's Rosalind Banks Jackson. George kept telling me about this OBGYN doctor. He said, you got to meet her. You're really going to like her. She's practicing over in uh, uh, Swainsboro in Manual County, and they were planning on closing their uh, OB program. So I, I did. I called uh, Rosalind up, and we talked. That first night, it must have been an hour and a half or so. And I, honest to goodness, she talked too. <laughs> I found out she used to practice in my hometown of Peoria, Illinois, um, on Knoxville Avenue, not too far from where I live. Uh, went to high school there. She and her husband Tim decided it was too cold, and they came back to Georgia. They said Illinois is too cold. They have winters up there. Uh, but anyway, Dr. Banks, Jack, did you come up here? So I, each person, I was had you come up here so everybody can see you. This is uh, Rosalind Banks Jackson. She is an OBGYN physician. Dr. Banks Jackson is with Billy Chisholm. Billy's over here. Um, and her husband, Tim, I don't think Tim's with you tonight, is he? Um, they have two daughters. Uh, one is uh, a sophomore in high school, and one is a freshman at Mercer. 
Um, and uh, but Dr. Banks Jackson has joined uh, Dr. Chisholm in his practice, uh, and it really fills a great need that we have uh, to have a, another OBGYN, particularly a female OBGYN. So welcome, Rosalind. Glad to have you. Emanuel County has been good to us um, because the next doctor also was from Emanuel County. Um, Anthony Davis is back here over here. If you want to kind of come on forward a little bit, Anthony. <clears throat> Anthony is um, brand new to our medical staff. Uh, he's been working uh, downtown in a, um, a wound care center down there and in January will become the medical director of our wound care center. Uh, and we are extremely excited to have Anthony. We first met a couple years ago. Uh, also on the phone, um, uh, but uh, Anthony does uh, live uh, in Emanuel County. Um, he and his wife were raising two children, a boy and a girl. Um, uh, Dr. Davis is a family practitioner, and our, our <coughs> wound care center um, on, on January 2nd is going to go from 85 patients to about 195 patients. So we're going to get real big real fast um, uh, because at least we pretty, pretty much assume we're going to get your patients. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, Anthony already knows a lot of our staff because he serves some of the patients that our medical staff refer to him. And, and uh, so he's kind of already a part of our community, but is officially going to be on, on our staff and is going to be affiliated with, with Fairview Park Hospital and, and really running our wound care center. Uh, just so you'll know, nothing wrong with Dennis Taylor. Dennis really wants to focus most of his time on his nursing home business and he's going to be kind of a backup to Anthony, so he's still going to kind of peripherally be involved, but, but Anthony will be the medical director in January, so welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I kind of want to tell you this next person's sort of from here. She was born um, in Vidalia, but her parents lived here for what, Lee? A couple years, maybe? A year? A month? A couple? Oh, there's your parents right there, the Nosses. Um, how long did you live here, sir? A year. A year, okay. Well, that was long enough. <laughs> now she can at least say she's been here before. But then she, unfortunately, I mean, she had no choice in this, and you can see what happens. She moved to Alabama, now she's an Auburn fan. Um, she's wearing red and black, and looks good in red and black. Yeah, okay, well, there you go. Ray confirmed to me that they're Auburn fans. They have season tickets, so that does it. But anyway. She's not going. She's not going? Okay. <laughs> Anyway, this is Dr. Lee Stevens. Lee, come on up. Um, her, her middle name's Ann. When I first met her on the phone, of course, um, I said, Lee this is Don Avery. She goes, it's Lee. I just saw Lee and I saw Ann, so I just assumed. I shouldn't assume, right? I know Lee is, is a good doctor because she started out as a nurse. Um, my sister brainwashed me to, to know that, and my sister's a nurse. But she was. She started as a nurse, then she was a CRNA, went to medical school. Um, did a, fel a residency, then a fellowship, and Ray told me, by the way, you're done with school. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought law school. Yeah, maybe. law school, yeah. Hay, why not? Anyway, this is her husband, Ray, back here. Um, and, and Lee is an anesthesiologist who joined our local group here. But she also is a pain uh, specialist. She did a fellowship in pain management. And is, is going to, well, not as going to, she already has brought some things here that uh, we have not previously done, which is going to be good for this community. Um, the group, I talked to Dr. Lane. Jim, are you here somewhere? I thought yeah, so. Here. I saw Jim a, uh, a couple weeks ago, and Lee it was her first week, and I said, Have you started putting her on call yet? And he said, No, next week. So you, they got a week reprieve. But uh, anyway, they're so excited. These guys have been looking forward to having a, um, a, a new partner. Fortunately, they have a woman partner, so you have your work cut out for you for sure. But anyway, Dr. Lee Stevens. Um, Brand new here to town and, and new to this group, but a big addition to our medical staff. So glad to have you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be here. Portions of this program are brought to you in part by Fairview Park Hospital, a leader in healthcare for Dublin, Lawrence, and surrounding communities. Providing specialty services through facilities such as our sleep center, the heart center, and women's imaging center. Zero percent financing and we'll just add it to your bill. 
Start saving today. It only makes sense. The City of Dublin Natural Gas. War Eagle, right? Sorry, I think the SEC Championship is going to be a lot of red. Red and black, red and whatever color Alabama has. But I know one thing, orange and blue ain't going to be in Atlanta this year. So anyway, I'm going to introduce these next two doctors together. Uh, we have a husband and wife team. And George, I hate to say this because George had been at the hospital for less than two months. And we do an annual thing that uh, the staff um, for um, Physicians Day, which is in March, they vote on who's the most popular doctor, who's the best dressed doctor, who's the most tech savvy doctor. Don Nelson will always have that award. Um, uh, but George got like most popular doctor. He hadn't even hardly been here. Well, what I've heard, this is what people say, is that Dr. Goodell Polly, Polly and Dr. Nicola, who are husband and wife, are the nicest hospitals at the hospital. So, George, you might have been usurped. I mean, they, they may be the new. Anyway, um, so if you guys would come on up. Um, uh, doctor, and, and again, I'm hopefully I can do my best, but uh, Shranov? Shravni. Shravni, Shravni, sorry. Dr. G, uh, Dr. <laughs> Gunnar to Polly. Um, and her husband, Dr. Nicola. They are um, two hospitalists, husband and wife. They're brand new, just got here this summer. Um, and, and here's the cool thing. They've already recruited two friends of theirs who will be graduating from residency next summer who are gonna be joining us next summer. So that's good. It's not any requirement, but that's awesome. <laughs> when you get doctors recruiting new doctors, that says a lot. Uh, so, um, but uh, they are part of our hospitalist program. And um, which means, I don't know how you guys do the seven on, seven off thing. Yeah, together. Uh, together? <laughs> together? Okay, I was going to say, your poor daughter. <laughs> um, so she gets to see either both of you or neither of you yeah, each yeah, week. Okay. Uh, they do have a five year old daughter uh, as well. And uh, again, welcome to Dublin, welcome Thank to you. Fairview Park. So glad to have you both. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to introduce to you. Um, one a, a new doctor, Dr. Uh, Hoffman. John Hoffman is a, uh, uh, an EP cardiologist, an electrophysiologist. He joined uh, Dr. Carmen Otis uh, recently and has just joined our medical staff. He couldn't be here tonight, so uh, maybe another time. Did Dr. Quartang make it? Hopefully he's in the cath lab. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, anyway. One of, the, one of these meetings, Dr. Quartang missed the last one too, so we're going to hope to introduce him again. But Collins Quartang is a, a cardiologist. He's an interventional cardiologist that uh, um, is in private practice, and I wanted to introduce him as well. But uh, he's a, a, a part of our medical staff. Um, let me see here. Kerry Rogers, a surgicalist, I think was the last one, and he couldn't make it. Um, I do want to introduce. Um, Another general surgeon, Dr. Francisco Hakame. Francisco, come on up. We started um, talking about having bariatrics here last year. Um, and we already um, had met uh, Mike Blaney, Dr. Blaney, who is Francisco's partner. And we knew that there was some history here. And we said, if we're gonna do something at Fairview, we're gonna do with excellence. That's one of our values, we're committed to that and we're going to do with excellence. These guys have um, a, a program already in Augusta, very successful. They really are the bariatric surgeons in Augusta, uh, and their program is a nationally certified, it's called a National Center of Excellence, um, and it's approved by a whole bunch of letters in their professional organization. Um, and we started talking about them doing a satellite here, and then they may end up doing more, and they've already recruited, by the way, did you get it? Positive answer from yes, we he's did. coming. Yes, we all did. right, good. Yes. They have uh, another board-certified bariatric surgeon joining them um, uh, early next year, and uh, um, he'll be coming down from Michigan. Somebody, you guys came from Michigan, didn't you? Yeah. Um, they have winters up there too. Uh, it may be hot here. But we don't have to shovel it. So um, anyway, Dr. Hakame uh, and Dr. Blaney um, have begun this program, 
and we anticipate sometime next year, when we, we already have everything in place except enough surgeries, we will also be uh, nationally accredited as a center of excellence because they have helped us get, you know, there's a bunch of different things you have to have to meet that requirement, um, plus you have to have X number of surgeries, and, and we will probably reach that number of surgeries sometime in the middle of the next year. But anyway, Dr. Francisco, and, and, and I mean, Dr. Hockman, he also works as a surgicalist for us, but um, uh, he was, uh, tonight, in fact, did a, a seminar. We do a community seminar every month, and neither he or Dr. Blaney do that. But this is Dr. Francisco Hockamay. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to have you. Thank you. Okay, so. One more. One more. Dr. Holtzman, Martin Holtzman. Oh, that's right, Martin Holtzman. Uh, uh, Dr. Holtzman is a, uh, come on up. <laughs> He's a radiation oncologist. I, I, was, I was talking to him earlier, and um, some of you know, some of you don't know, but I'm a, a cancer survivor. I had uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma a long time ago, like over 30 years ago. I was three or four years old. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe I was in my 20s. I don't know, Doc. But anyway, I told him I'm a big fan of radiation oncology. I'm here today because of that, for two reasons. I'm in healthcare today because of that experience, but I'm alive because of that experience. So uh, anyway, he uh, works at the uh, Radiation Oncology Center, CurePoint. Uh, which is an air and office park. Uh, works with Dr. Mark McCord and that group over there. And uh, welcome, a part of our medical community, part of our medical staff. Thank you very much. Glad to have you. Thank you. We are fortunate in this community to have the quality of the medical staff that we have, the breadth of the medical staff that we have. And when I look back over the time that I've been here, um, uh, the coverage we have for our emergency department, the, the, the number of doctors that have joined this community and our medical staff, um, and, and I believe there's a lot more ahead. There's a lot of things that we anticipate over the next several years, programs to add, programs to build, um, but I can assure you this, they will all be built on excellence. We're not going to do something halfway. Um, years ago, somebody said we need to do you know, spine surgery here. I said, someday we might, but we're not going to do it until I know that I'm willing for my wife or my daughter to have surgery there. Um, it's not enough that I'm willing to do it, um, but I want to make sure it's something that I want any member of my family or the, a program that I can recommend. We actually have that such program today. I'd have Tom Lawhorn do surgery on my knee if I, if I need it. I hope I don't need back surgery. My point is, though, we are not going to do something if we can't do it well. Um, and, and because of that, that's what we try and base everything on. We're not perfect, but, but our goal is to, to be excellent in everything we do. Um, we, we, we are committed to this community, and we're going to keep focusing on that mission. Um, sometimes there's outside pressure. Sometimes there's different things going on. But our focus is always going to be on what's best for this community, for this region. Um, and we anticipate that our footprint is going to spread, and uh, we're going to see you know, bigger and even better things. Uh, for uh, the medical community here in, in Dublin, Lawrence County. So I thank all you for being here tonight. S feel free, stay as long as you want. There's a lot of food up here. Uh, there's plenty of things to drink and everything. And, and thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. It's easy to score a great deal at Dublin Nissan. The fully loaded Rogue Sport is as low as $25,252. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. Welcome to the show. Uh, great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County. We're at the Dublin Country Club celebrating the new physician's reception tonight. And I have with me Dr. Chandra Nukala. Yes. And I'm going to say Dr. G, but uh, you're going to help me out. Shravani Gundarlapalli. Uh, we both are a hospitalist team at Fairview Park Hospital. And my understanding is you guys have been here for about three months. Yes, 
and you're here from Michigan. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your experience so far in Dublin. So far, everything is great. Um, what about you? So um, I just love the weather <laughs> and people here around are very helpful and very warm. And uh, I just started uh, working at the Fairview Park Hospital from September. So um, I fell in love with all the people um, surrounding me. They are very uh, warm and helpful. I love it here. <laughs> and, and you guys are kind of unique with a husband-wife team. We don't have a whole lot of those. Tell me a little bit about how that works and, and if you can even like it for home and, and at, at the office but how does that work with the husband-wife team? Um, I think so far it's working uh, very, very well. Uh, we have a, a daughter, a five-year-old, um, and we get uh, some time off we, to spend with her. Uh, and uh, I, think, I think everything is fine so far. Um, we love working together. <laughs> You have to. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, which I, I like it, like uh, a week working together and then week off together, okay. spending time with uh, our daughter. And, and a little bit about Fairview. Um, Fairview Park Hospital, they're our primary care center here in Dublin and Lawrence County. Um, great to have you guys. They're adding new doctors there all the time. Um, tell me a little bit about the facilities there and what you think of the hospital. Um, the hospital is, um, it's, it's a very good hospital. We have a lot of specialties and um, good specialty support. Um, and I, I, I know there are a lot of primary care physicians around here. Um, and uh, w what was the other part of question? Just, just the experience at the hospital, the folks that you're working with there. Oh, the yeah. Team. Yeah, every, um, every specialist that I worked with so far are very helpful. They're available all the time. Uh, and uh, not only the specialists, but all, all the nursing staff and uh, every other technicians and uh, everybody in the administration, everybody has been so um, helpful so far. Um, yeah. Dr. G, tell me on, on any given day so far, you've been there about three months, your favorite thing that you look forward to at Fairview Park each day? Each day uh, to meet people, <laughs> that meeting, new people. meeting new people. So, um, like everyone, it's a small community so everyone knows by name and everyone is uh, so warm um, and uh, welcoming so well, i want to say welcome to both of you thank and you. thank you again for thank being you. on the show and taking time i know you got a lot of folks you want to meet tonight so thank you for joining us thank you. all right i want to welcome dr lee stevens to the show dr stevens you're an anesthesiologist and and pain intervention specialist and, and interventional pain interventional specialist. pain specialist That's and okay. i and, and talk to me about both of those things real quick, because I think people generally understand anesthesiology, um, but maybe not fully. So just tell me a little bit about both of those things. So as an interventional pain specialist, we have uh, interventional procedures that we can perform on patients who have chronic neck and back pain. Also, when patients have um, injuries to extremities, there's some therapies that we can do to help treat their pain. Right now, the U.S. is in an opioid crisis, so a lot of patients are coming against, do we continue with opioid therapy? Is there something else to help with pain? So as pain specialists, we sit down and look at the whole patient and decide what's the best options in caring for you and, you know, try to see if there's any interventional things we can do to help alleviate your pain. Um, and also, sometimes we work with med management with patients and help them to cope okay. with their chronic pain. So so a lot of these procedures are, are not even procedures, but there's a lot of things that you can do there that are, are not, surgery is not required. Is that correct? Correct. I mean, a lot of times interventional pain medicine is uh, procedures, uh, epidural injections. Sometimes we can talk about spinal cord stimulators for patients who've had failed back surgical syndromes that despite having back surgery or neck surgery, they're still having chronic pain. So there's some, you know, different modalities we can do here to help patients um, live a productive, uh, hopefully pain-free life. We just, if anybody has any issues or concerns, they can come in for a consultation and we'll take a look at them and go through their history and tell them what options that we can you know try to help them you know live the, their life to the fullest sure and dr stevens we we have uh do this show on a regular basis i work with the folks at fairview and i'm so glad to say it seems like weekly we have new doctors arriving at fairview park hospital tell me a little bit about where you're from and how long you've been here 
Sure. I'm originally from Alabama, but an, a cute little uh, tidbit, when I was one years old, I actually lived in Dublin. My parents were uh, kind of newlyweds. They came here. Uh, my dad was working for Oxford Industry at the time as an engineer. My mother was a scrub tech at the OR for a year, and then they, we left. But I, I was basically raised in Gaston, Alabama. I'm a big Auburn fan, War Eagle. Okay. And um, I, I started off my career as a nurse and went on to do nurse anesthesia. And as I went through my career, I decided I wanted to go back to medical school and get more training to you know expand my role and I went to uh, Drexel University in Hahnemann which is in Philadelphia for my anesthesia residency and then I did my pain fellowship out in Massachusetts at Bay State Medical Center oh. here I am there you go and and I want to say thank you again for thank joining for us on the show me. welcome to Dublin and Lawrence County welcome to Fairview Park Hospital and we look thank forward you. to seeing you in the community I want to welcome Dr. Anthony Davis to the show Dr. Much. Davis thank you so much hey um Got to chat with you a little bit before we came on camera, Georgia Tech. Um, but welcome to Dublin. And um, I know this you're not brand new to Dublin, but you are new to the Fairview Park team. I am, and I'm excited about it. We're, uh, I've been practicing wound care here for three years, and I'm excited about transitioning. And so in, in wound care, and that, that's a very interesting field to me, um, tell a little bit, if you can, um, and I know you don't name names or anything, but some of the things you've seen in, in wound care. Uh, I've seen a lot of a lot of bad wounds, and there's a big need for wound care. Um, a lot of bad wounds, and some some simple wounds too. But even the simple wounds sometimes can linger, and uh, we see a lot of diabetic wounds, venous ulcers. Uh, we uh, we just you know we're we're here to to heal and make a difference, save a limb, save a life. And, and Dr. Davis, do you also when you work with your patients? I'm I'm sure there's follow up and things, and is, is there pre preventative things that you could share maybe even for people to help with some of those existing circumstances? Yeah, we, we see our folks uh, usually once a week, occasionally every other week, but a lot of times we see them more than once a week. So a lot of close follow-up. Um, you know, wounds can change very quickly. They can change overnight, so we, we follow up with them closely. As far as uh, prevention, you know, especially with diabetic wounds, the main thing is, you know, good foot, foot care. Uh, wear, wear good shoes with socks. Uh, check your feet every day, and if you have any problems, get, get it seen about. Don't wait, because they typically don't get better with time. So is that something you see a lot? People could have had a, a lot less damage maybe had they went ahead and, and made an appointment and come to see you um, when they first started noticing some differences? Yeah, I would say I see it every day. Wow. I mean, it, it, it really it happens a lot, and men are the worst. I want to tell you, if it mm -hmm. wasn't for uh, our wives, um, uh, a lot of men would probably stay out there until they uh, it was too late. So. so you had a chance to uh, be in the Fairview Park Hospital and work a little bit? Not yet. I was in, the, in that transition phase right now, but uh, I'm excited about it. We've got a fabulous team. We want to welcome you on behalf of the community and the hospital, and uh, we look forward to working with you. I look forward to it, too. Thank, thank you. you very much. I want to welcome to the show Dr. Rosalind Banks-Jackson. Dr. Jackson, thank you so much for joining us, and welcome to the team at Fairview Park Hospital. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. I've met lots of nice people since I've been here. And I understand you, you traveled a far, far, far distance to join us here in Dublin, Lawrence County? Absolutely. 45 minutes from the big city of Swainsboro. <laughs> so OBGYN, um, how long have you been doing that? Um, since 2002. About This is my 15th year. Okay. And I was practicing in Swainsboro, um, but they closed their unit, their obstetric unit, a couple of years ago. And um, so now I'm here. And in, in, in this field, um, as far as medical procedures and things, can you tell me about advancements maybe in the last few years, anything especially technology-wise or any new procedures that you guys are doing maybe that, that you were not doing um, maybe in the early 2000s? Anything new? I think our approach is definitely different. There's um, been a trend towards uh, minimally invasive surgery as opposed to like open surgery for gynecologic procedures. Mm -hmm. So I think that's new. Uh, we still have babies in about the same way. Um, Are we, and let me ask you, and this is just something because I've, I've heard this from people before. Can you actually turn a baby? Absolutely, yep, you can. You can. I mean, it's not possible to do that in every patient, um, but babies pretty much know what to do, but sometimes they get caught up the wrong way. and Backwards, upside down. Just turn the wrong way. So sometimes you can just slide your hand in and 
turn, put a little pressure behind the back and the sh shoulder and just turn baby the right way so that they can progress. How about the number of births? Do you see an increase um, in the last few years? Is it about the same as it always is? Do you guys keep up with that at all? Um, I think there's been an upward trend over the last couple of years. Um, you know, in the South, we're very productive. <laughs> That's a good way to put that. So, <laughs> well, um, I want to... <laughs> I want to say welcome. Um, let me ask you, are you practicing currently at Fairview or, or you're about to start at Fairview? Yes, I'm currently practicing at Fairview. Um, is it, can I say that I, I practice at Dublin OBGYN? Sure. Yeah, I practice at Dublin OBGYN with Dr. Chisholm. Absolutely. We are so glad to have you. Glad to have you as part of the team here. Welcome to the community. And uh, we look forward to seeing your smiling face in Dublin, Lawrence County. All right. Well, thank you. Hey, we've had a great evening. Uh, Fairview Park welcomed several new doctors. Don, it seems like you guys are bringing in a lot of talent here. Well, it, it, it's, it's surprising, I think, to a lot of people on the outside because they can't imagine why we have recruited so well. But it's because it's a team effort. It's not me doing it. It's not even just our recruiters doing it. It really is the community that helps us. Um, whether it's a banker, whether it's a, a realtor, whether it's other doctors, you know, community people. The community helps us in our recruiting efforts, and uh, that's why at least a couple of them are here tonight. Absolutely, and, and I would attest to that when I came to Dublin. The, the people here um, were so welcoming, but you guys and your, your whole staff, everything you do, you're doing with excellence at the hospital, and I even heard you say over there earlier that you have new doctors that are recruiting doctors. Is that correct? Well, it's pretty remarkable, um, but I go back several years ago when a doctor that I recruited, a guy named Kirk Colby, he's a family practitioner, he helped recruit a, a doctor and then I get some of these other doctors that know somebody or, uh, but even when they don't know him, we bring a doctor to town, we go out to dinner uh, with other physicians, we make sure we get, they get a chance to meet them. And, and I'll say this too, um, and I, I guess it's a little bit self-serving, our hospital is pretty dang good. And, that attracts them as well because they see an energy at the hospital, they see a facility, and they see the resources we have, the equipment, and most importantly, they meet staff in their visit here, and they oftentimes say, I want to be a part of that. So it's a lot of things that go into recruiting here. It's a lot of work. It doesn't happen overnight. Um, we've been fortunate, I will say that. And, and we appreciate you, Don, all of the staff. Uh, one thing you, you touched on briefly in there was your commitment to excellence, and you guys are certainly doing that here. So, and I'll tell you, it almost seems odd to have you on the show or someone from the hospital, and we're not celebrating an award, but you guys have had another amazing year, um, a lot of national recognition and awards as well. Well, I appreciate that. We don't take that for granted, but this is a celebration. Adding, med adding doctors to our medical staff, um, it also means if we add doctors, we're going to be adding new jobs because they have to have people working with those doctors, uh, whether it be nurses in the hospital, whether it be people working in their offices. Um, so this is a celebration of sorts as well. Absolutely. Hey, you're helping us make it a great day for business in Dublin, Lawrence County. We My appreciate pleasure. you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.